Homeland security, the concept brings to mind vigilant men and women keeping our country safe. But for many, the reality, taking the form of the Department of Homeland Security, is a massive bureaucracy that may serve to inhibit the main objective. As the third largest cabinet agency, DHS gets a lot of criticism from Americans who dislike big government. Many of the critiques are justified and worthy of exploration. Others come in the form that may be characterized simply as conspiracy theories. Take the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, which is part of DHS. While some, reasonably, have criticized its response to natural disasters, others fear something far worse than that. Next up, we have uh, two FEMA camps from Police State 4. We also cover uh, FEMA camp admissions for anybody out there who is in denial about this. But not only are the camps now admitted, these are re-education camps where they torture you and use you as slave labor. In 2009, popular mechanics at Glenn Beck's request debunked the theory of FEMA internment camps. But the story is still going strong despite so-called evidence being discredited, like this supposed photo of a FEMA detention center in Wyoming, which is actually a Photoshop image of a North Korean prison. But because the bureaucratic vortex that is DHS allows conspiracy theories like that to fester, other more legitimate concerns are too often dismissed. For example, ammunition hoarding. Since early 2013, critics have charged DHS with stockpiling billions of rounds of ammo and floated theories about why, ranging from keeping it out of gun owners' hands to using it to shoot Americans. Now, the Government Accountability Office recently issued a report that shows the agency ammo purchases are down since 2009. Its spending is also down, and yet it continues. So we have to ask the question, why? 